Hi, we like to talk about TV films and comics on this channel and today we're going to talk about Black Widow Marvel Knights The Complete Collection by Greg Rooker. This is a collection of three Black Widow stories in the Marvel Knights series. Um, in this you get introduced to the Black Widow's, let's say replacement, um, from the Red Room where the Black Widow was trained, um, Yelena Belov. Um, she is, oh sorry, Belova even. She is um, uh, the sort of new Black Widow, but instead of having red hair she's blonde um, and she's got a sort of chip on her shoulder because the, the original Black Widow is still out there, Natasha Romanoff, um, and she needs to basically get rid of her in order to fully galvanise herself as the new Black Widow. So you, you initially have them clashing in the first story, um, you have a weird sort of spy game in the second story where they swap identities and then in the final story you have her operating on her own. Um, I'm trying not to spoil the stories too much in this because they're only three issues long each story uh, which is great by the way these stories uh, have been thought about and they've not tried to drag them out to even four issues they are three issue stories because they're short sharp full of action um, and intrigue and they are very well written spy tales. Um, the third story um, um, has a lot of investigation going on and sort of detective work which I appreciate and um, the second story has a lot of sort of head messing um, stuff going on where you're not sure who's who, they swap faces effectively um, through a face off type technique um, and that creates a bit of sort of uh, confusion and then the first story is one where it's sort of more all action um, and thrill ride. So you've got three different types of story. The artwork changes throughout them. Um, I wouldn't say that I've got a favourite or worst um, art. They're, they're just suited to the different um, different stories. All I would say is in the third story, you can sort of see it. <laughs> They, they've drawn it so that her top is so tight you can see a nipple coming out through it at all times, which is sort of weird. Um, they didn't need to do that. Um, even though it's Marvel Knights, it just felt a little bit like distracting. Um, otherwise, it's absolutely, um, absolutely fine. Um, let me know what you think about these stories if you've read them. Um, this um, is only about in trade paperback as far as I'm aware. Um, I got it for a relatively cheap price. I think it was less than a tenner. Um, the reason it will be relevant is because obviously the Black Widow film was meant to come out this year and that's, I believe it's delayed until next year unless they decide to chuck it on Disney Plus at Christmas. Um, but people are going to be talking about the character Yelena Belova um, very soon because uh, Florence Pugh is playing her in the uh, movie and I think they're setting her up to take over from Scarlett Johansson who obviously died at the, uh, at the end of the last um, big saga with Avengers Endgame. So let me know what you think. Uh, please give us a like and a subscribe and thanks for watching.